Hey guys, Landon is back with another video. Today, we're gonna put CNC sliders on the S22. Finally, finally. These were CNC'd uh, locally. They're not the E-Wheels ones. I don't know if they're exactly the same, but I have high hopes. So we're gonna put it on and see how it feels. So this procedure is basically just like changing a tire. We're gonna remove the motor. So we have to get to the motherboard, take the hull sensor wires off and the motor wires. Then we take a couple bolts off the suspension. Then in theory, the motor should slide right out. And I have to say, sometimes being an adult is very stressful, but if you get your own place, you can work on wheels in the dining room and nobody can yell at you. Pretty sweet. Now one important thing you need to do after you've disconnected all the battery bits is turn the wheel on to drain the capacitors in the motherboard. There we go. Now it's dead. It took about 10 seconds of holding it down. Now we need to get underneath the motherboard to get to these uh, motor wires. And I think they're held in with a possibly, yeah, they're Phillips. Mine is silicone fairly well, but I'm still gonna redo all the siliconing so I know it's as waterproof as it can be, because this is where water can ingress into your motherboard, and that would be a bad day. You know, this is the kind of stuff that really annoys me still with these Chinese manufacturers. Like, motorcycles and cars have been building nice sealed gaskets for decades. Like, why can't we get that? Why is it always just like a cheap plastic part with some goop on it. Like we have the technology to make this better. Let's make it better, guys. Okay, so here we are with the motor wires. So there is your hull sensor wire in there. You wanna be super, super careful in getting that out. You do not wanna damage that wire. And remember the color coordination. Yellow, green, blue. These have to be exactly right, guys. So take a picture so you don't forget. These are the screws I need to take off on either side. And I couldn't get my drill in there until I got a bunch of extensions because if you don't have the right amount of extensions, it hits this and you will for sure strip them. So hopefully you have some nice extensions. I was able to get these ones off, but those two were put way too much Loctite on and they are stripped. So I'm gonna have to figure out something else. Okay, with the help of the compliance stick and a little help from God, I was able to get these off. Pain in the ass. Okay, you can't do the last part of the suspension with the stand. You gotta kickstand it, crunch the suspension so you can get in behind there. So we wanna put an Allen key in there, right? And we wanna do that on the other side to loosen both of these off. And we can get to the motor. taking off these last suspension arms. Don't forget about the washer. The washer goes on there like that, and then this goes on like so. so that's the assembly. Just can't do it with one hand. First thing I'm going to do is put those sweet rollers on, then I'm gonna clean up these channels because they have grease and oil in them, and because we have roller bearings, 
we don't want grease in there. We want it to roll. Here's the sliders in their natural form. And we have four screws holding them on. So we're gonna take those off. Okay, I referenced Matt's diagram and asked him and this is correct. So we want the, uh, see how these are actually forward and backwards a little bit? We need the forward one to face forward. So that's the back of the wheel on both sides, right? So that one's a little bit ahead, that one's a little bit ahead and same. I'm going to be using handy dandy blue thread locker because we're metal on metal. We don't want these moving. Don't overdo it, a little bit will do. There's the two rails installed. It's also important to make sure you have the right screws. These are the flat head screws, so they taper down into the part. If you get button head, they're gonna stick up and rub. I accidentally ordered the wrong screws at first, so don't make my mistake. The next thing we have to do is get our roller bearings and put them on. They're gonna be tight, so I'm hoping I can find something I can go around here that I can bang down carefully because if you just smash this down with a hammer on an angle, you could damage the bearing. We don't want that. We want this to be nice and smooth. Okay, so after literally hours of fighting with these bearings, I finally got them in. And uh, I gotta say, it's probably the hardest procedure I've ever done on an EUC. Luckily, I had some spare bearings, because I destroyed some. I tried my best to do what the, my E-wheel says and use the bushing. You will destroy your bushing if you do that. So I had to sand mine down. I still have to work at getting that in. So I tried that, that didn't work. Ended up destroying it. I tried carefully, carefully getting a flat head around there. Obviously I missed a few times and that's what happened with those. So then finally uh, I tried to drill bit. I couldn't get enough leverage with the drill bit. And the last piece was, is I actually have this for my drill, right? That actually perfectly fits on there like so. And then you can hammer it. But the thing is, is if you don't support under here, this whole mechanism is gonna bounce when you hit it and you're just gonna be wasting energy. So you need to get something under there, whatever you can, to, to stop it and brace it. Then when you hammer these down, uh, it's not gonna bounce. So yeah, they all, they're all sitting in now and they have minimal damage. Luckily, these are cheap. Like the whole set was like 20 bucks, but I just didn't have any spares, so I was super careful not to break them. But yeah, they are in now. So we're gonna move on to the next step, just cleaning the uh, channels, and then we'll put it back together. Okay, so time to clean out the channels with all the factory grease that was in there. I'm gonna try to use a napkin, see if I can get in there we want these nice and dry because we have our rollers going to go in there. Okay, so this is tomorrow landing because yesterday landing took way too long putting the wheel back together, but it's done and it is definitely a night and day difference. Check it out guys. So this is how the old suspension felt before. Really slow and clunky. Even this is already feeling better than it was before. You guys know how it feels sluggish and you have to lube the crap out of it and it works for our battery and then you have to do it again. So this is how it was. Now watch as I turn up the rebound. There, it's five clicks now. Check this out. As fast as I can push down, it's coming back and it is 
despite the grinding sound, it's actually super smooth feeling. Like, it's, it's so, so, so smooth. I'm sorry I can't get any riding footage for you guys. This is the reason. This is like the extra slippery fall on your face kind of wet snow. So as soon as this melts, I will have some footage and I'll report back. I'm quite certain I know where the rubbing sound is coming from. If you look in here where the channel is, it's kind of hard to see from your phone, but see right here the front face where the C channel kind of goes down and the sliders are in there, I think that's rubbing. And as you can see, it's making like little metal flakes on my tire. So that's a good sign. I talked to Matt, he said his did the exact same thing for the first couple of days and then it went away. So it's just working itself in because that CNC slider is probably a tight tolerance. And the metal is soft and I can confirm that his S22 didn't have any of that grinding sound. So I have good faith it'll keep getting smoother. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. I'm gonna keep riding this and I'll keep you posted how long it holds up. It seems like it's holding up very well, and I think this is going to be a must have upgrade for your S22. So we're coming up to almost a thousand subscribers on this channel, and I wanna thank you everyone who's stuck along with me as I've been working on these videos and hopefully getting better at them. But uh, you know, I make these videos uh, on my free time. They don't make me a dime. Uh, it's a labor of love, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys could help get me over to the thousand subscriber mark. That would mean a lot for me. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.